If you're new to the TF console, you'll notice up on the uh, right-hand corner of your screen, uh, administrator pops up in the uh, in the screen, and uh, that allows that you are the administrator, meaning you have complete control of the console. You can save everything, you can adjust anything on the board. But if you had people that you're bringing up slowly, or you want to restrict some of these uses, or you want to make sure that they can't store over your settings, these sorts of things are all possible by setting up user accounts for them. So to go there, you touch your administrator area, and from this area, you'll notice you can set up three users and a guest. So you just will we'll set up an account, and you give them a uh, password here, and this is where you go in and edit their account. And this allows you to do things as minute as changing faders only with channel on offs and fader moves. So that in case, in the case of that, we could set this user up and turn off and give them only the first few channels. And then when we're in that user mode, any movement of other faders will be ignored. So they don't get any movements of any other things. The idea is that you could lock them completely out of the console. You can even keep it so that they can't store what they're doing away. All your saving can all be kept here. So in the case of that, we'd go back into our admin account. And if you have a look at the user accounts, we'd be able to set them up, as you see there, with anything we want, including general, which allows them to not be able to store over your scenes, but to be able to recall them. How cool would that be if they mix, them, mix themselves into a corner and you're able to tell them, well, just recall that scene and you're back where you were. So that, in a nutshell, is how you set this up. And remember, you got three users and a guest in addition to your account. So you can set this up with all of those things. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you get a lot out of your TF console.